Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are picking out my March kits. It's not going to be as involved as the last two months because um, I basically, well, I want to use one for the week of St. Patrick's Day is my cat Heidi's birthday. So I'm using a kit for that. And then I did love the St. Patrick's Day art from School Prints Co. this year. So I will probably use that the week before. So really we're just picking out two kits that could go in March. Keep in mind that um, it's still kind of winter, like it's snowing right now and it's um, middle of Feb. So I don't want to go straight into all the spring, So, but we have to pick out two others. But let's, so first I'll say that this is an insert for the weekly kit schedule from Caress Press. This was included in her 2022 inserts, but I believe there is a freebie up somewhere on the website or Instagram. So I'll go check out Caress Press for this um, insert. But yeah, so first let's get out the two kits that we know we're definitely using. I also have to pick out foil for both of them, so a lot of time will be spent on foil, I'm sure. Um, but I've got my one of my binders here, which we recently um, put together, organized together, and these kids should be in the must use. Okay, so here we have Pet Party. This was an old um, art set that I did for cat and dog for birthdays. And of course, I'm going to use it for a cat birthday, and um, but it's old, but uh, Andrea re released it recently, so it should be in shop. And then I want to use, it's in the back of here, Heidi. Then I want to use, she's behind me right now. Um, this is, the writing is on it, Lucky Charm, I believe, which is a really pretty, um, adorable St. Patrick's Day set. And I just couldn't, like, not use it, even though um, Heidi's birthday is the 15th. And obviously St. Patrick's Day is the 17th. So we're going to use this the week before that, um, just to use it. Sort of, I think I like the idea of having a holiday kit the week before if you can't use one on the week of because it's sort of, um, it's leading up to that holiday. Whereas I feel like doing it the week after, it's kind of like the holiday is done and you're over it. <laughs> Whereas this is like, it's leading up to the holiday and you're like, yeah, yeah it's a holiday. Um, not that it's a holiday that means anything to me really, but although... You know, I, I, was, I did a spread for it last year because last year I got my Irish citizenship. So <laughs> it felt right then. And I guess that's also why I'd like to continue using some. So now we need two more kits. Um, and so we're going to, this is the must use. So this is the kits I definitely want to use this year. I feel like I want to do this more maybe August, September. Um, this one might be better in May. We have this one. Which obviously, like, I know March because of um, the Life Planner, where we all start, where a lot of us started, had like the monthly colors. So green feels a lot like March as well with um, whatever. But I feel like this is a really like nice wintry self care kit. And I have a more summery one with it that I want to use later in the year. So I think I do want to pull this one out. Everyone's been using it at the moment, like in January, February. And the spreads have been so pretty that, yeah, I want to use it. So let's put it into the lineup. So that means we only need one more. So here's the, the um, this is the sort of summer one that I want to use later. So these are more summery kits. Ooh, maybe that'd be good for April though. And then this was also my other idea for Heidi's birthday, but then um, Andrea re-released Pet Party. So unless we want to just do like a full cat month in March to celebrate Heidi. Um, do I want to do that? Or do I want to bring in like something fandom? Cafe one, Candyland. I think with um, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power coming out in September, 
pretty much my whole September is going to be Lord of the Rings stuff. So I got two kits for it. And then we'll see what I can do later. So let's do like a Ghibli set just to like change it up. Because we're kind of this in this middle of season phase <laughs> where it's just kind of endless winter right now. Um, let's do the cats. More kitties. So then we do it like cat cat then cat and then this would lead into April because it has like the nice purple colors. I'm just gonna do like well we have a dog here but we could leave that dog out. <laughs> just do two cat kids in the middle. I did really love this cat cafe. Um, one. Um, Okay, I'm just going to look at my other binder, just in case, but I think we're doing a hard maybe <laughs> on the Cat Cafe kit. Well, what is it actually called? Cat Cafe, alright. <laughs> um, let's just do a quick little search of here in my any times. We got Cloud, we got Bell, we got Dream, we got, that, we got Space. I don't think we have anything else important in March to really, you know, um, deal with. We have planning ones. And then we have spring, which I don't really want to start just yet. So I think we're going to use that Cat Cafe kit. So choosing the kits wasn't too hard, which is nice. Okay, and I think what we're going to do is the order that we have them in. So we're going to put a Lucky Charm here. I just use a um, friction pen, which is erasable, uh, just in case I change my mind through the month, like kits come in or whatever. Pet Party, and then we're going to do Cat Cafe. And then we're going to do, um, this is December Mystery. Alright, that's awesome. And then of course, next month we will do our April kits. We have a birthday in there. But otherwise, I think we can get started on choosing our foil. Now, I didn't buy any St. Patrick's Day foil. I should have bought the Caress Press bundle, but I didn't. So we're going to have to search for this. But let's have a look at the kit. Because uh, I haven't been actually showing you the kits before, but I could have a quick squiz at them just to get an idea. I did get the fashion girl. I think I got her so we could replace the dog. <laughs> Plus she's cute. Um, and we got plenty of, we got plenty of boxes, honestly. I think the only one I'm not going to use is this one. Well, I guess I could as in like it's coming up. Because this is like a monthly dashboard. All right, so all these boxes work. So we got a pastel, a rainbow. Um, I think Andrea, yeah, well, I just watched her. She's using like the green caress press bundle as well as hollow. So I think I'm gonna go hollow with this. Um, just because I don't have the other options. <laughs> so let us, I've kind of rearranged my foil, but I'm not 100% sure where everything is. Now, do I want to use normal hollow or do I want to use sparkly hollow? And I do have a, like a fun design I could use. So I don't know why I'm in simple core right now. I want simple fun. Oh, you know, simple fun is not what. I'm, oh my gosh. I don't know where my head is at, but. We have like these rainbow lux from Caress Press, um, which could be fun. Oh, we have the birthday sets, which, oh yeah, I think I put hollow in the other one, sparkly hollow. We also have this like Easter one where it's like we could use this instead of for Easter because I am not putting that in my planner this year. We've got the candy and then there's like Lucky Charms. That could work because it's kind of like 
It's all candy, right? And like, well, we don't have Lucky Ch I've never had Lucky Charms um, cereal before, but it just seemed like it was um, lollies to me. <laughs> so we can have a regular hollow in the lollies. We're gonna have Sparkly Hollow. I think I've had a lot of Sparkly Hollow recently, so maybe we should just do um, normal hollow for this. That might be fun. And I do know the bottom washi is like peppermints, so maybe we'll pick out a different hollow bottom washi for that. So now I'm gonna take out my foil binder and open it to hollow. Um, here we go. We got anything else? Look, like shells, stars, celestial. Um, we got a straight up normal bow, which we could just use, and then we can finish up that sheet of stickers. So I'll bring the foil bow, bow in it just to take those peppermints out. And then I think the extra head is also, um, uh, you know. <clears throat> what have you, um, peppermints. So I'm gonna have a look at what I have in terms of extra. I thought I had some St. Patrick's Day stuff in hollow, but maybe I don't. Um, maybe I could just use one of these blossom ones as a side. Those blossom ones are cute. This one I got some um, hollow stuff, but we'll see. Got New Year's Eve, a birthday. Hmm. Heidi! Heidi is a naughty girl. <laughs> um, now, does this pack have a double box? It does, so that's good. We don't have a toolbox in there, so we don't need those. So I think that's all we're replacing. Um, and then I might actually get some little deco bits, different deco bits. Those are the big ones. These are more hearts. Hmm. I could have sworn I got some, um, oh my gosh, Heidi, will you stop that? I'm just using these sparkly, sparkle bits from School Prince Co. Just to have a little bit more. So about that? Heidi is just very silly. I'm just going to double check to see if I can find any of this stuff. Look at the big blossoms. Okay, anyway, we're gonna do the Lucky Charm set and we're gonna use the um, Mixed Candy Hollow Bundle from Scribble Prince Co. And then we're gonna add a bow to make it a bit less like peppermint. And then to take out the other peppermint extra headers, we got some blossom. And then I got some normal little sparkle sprays for um, decorating each. Um, character sticker, so that I think is a lucky charm. So we'll put that to the side. So now we're gonna do pet party, and I think we're definitely gonna use that party bundle, birthday bundle from um, uh, Caress Press. As you can see here, we have a little baby Heidi. So that's gold, but I think I mostly did this for silver. Um, it has silver glitter accents in the art and in the papers, as you can see here. Little silver stars, little silver glitter splatters. So I think this is going to be silver. So I'm going to put this back in. Just, I like to keep them in the plastic, the cellos, just in case 
If I change my mind and move them around, then I don't lose any like papers or get them bent. They can stay protected. So we want the um, theme core then. So silver, the birthday one is in here somewhere. Not too far away. So there's gold, here's silver. So I think I bought these without the bougie boxes because I have some silver ones. As you can see, it's like confetti and cakes and then there's balloons. Really, really cute. It's going to be perfect with this. But I think I'm going to need extras. And this didn't have a toolbox, I don't think. So first we're going to need some bougie. This is how I keep my little bougie boxes. Here's some silver. So one, two, three, four. We have those. Um, and then let's have a look at what we got in our silver lot. Otherwise, I'll use some of my leftover full box overlays when I get to actually doing the spread. But I do have some like cute, more little like confetti ones. So I might bring those in just to supplement the bundle. Um, I think that's all the little deco pieces I'm going to need. Unless I want to use some of these. I don't know yet. I don't think so. Um, I might need, I might just go get those from, yeah. Just thinking to myself. So let's have a look. Um, if there's any quotes. There's birthday girl, which Heidi is the birthday girl. <laughs> Should I use one of those? Yeah, let's use birthday girl because, you know, make it a proper birthday spread. And maybe we can just bring in extra lot of boxes for anything left over. Because I don't know how much silver I have in my leftovers. And we'll just do some, like, Sprinkles, I guess. So you do some shimmer or some confetti. Have a look at it. I think the shimmer will work best. Just for some extra full boxes in case we need them. Let's double check these because we do have these sprinkles, but that's a lot. <laughs> um. No, I don't think we have any like special ones to pull in. And then let's have a look at our special um, extra headers because only three come in the um, <clears throat> caress press bundle. Let's see what I have left over from stuff. Nah. I'm just going to use what we have and then we'll bring in something from our leftover sticker album if need be. So I'm just going to bring in some extra full box overlays, the birthday girl overlay, and then the um, confetti cluster deco from Sadie Stickers, so the bougie boxes, and the fun um, celebrate bundle all in silver for pet party. So cute. And then we're going to use Cat Cafe, which, um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I want to use with this. I haven't looked at this for a while. It got released last year, so. So you like the pinks and the blues. Oh, that's so cute. Kitties. Lots of fashion girls. Got two to add in there. Um, they're all so adorable. So, is there any, like... Alright. Um... The only hint of metal in this is the laptop. And oh, well, laptops are silver anyway. So, um, did we want to attempt a fun? Or oh, no? Let's have a look at the fun foils. The red, red, navy, black, 
black. Saving that gold hollow, rainbow, green. Um, not really. Hmm. <laughs> hollow waves, gold star. And what about theme at fun? I'm actually not sure what foil I want to use with this. So, okay, I'm just slipping through, and I think we're just going to use silver again, but I might just use a simple silver shimmer. Maybe. Um, we have a simple silver confetti. It's not in its um, cello for some reason. We could just use this. And then, I don't know, it keeps it simple. Um, yeah, that might be the best course of action. Just to keep it, uh, we're just going to use a lot of like silvery foils this month. But I'm happy with that because I love silver. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to keep it simple. I'm going to bring in the silver bundle. Uh, this one is just confetti, so it's like, it's not too much, like, it'll be like a lesser foiled spread, which might be nice to just change it up. And um, we'll just enjoy the pretty cat art for the week. So I'll leave it at that, and if I need extras, I will collect them at the time. So otherwise, we have um, December Mystery. And I believe it came, or well, I've added in this Lavender Hollow um, Lux. And I think that is what I'm going to use with this. Um, because obviously it's very purple, it's very Lux. And I think this will look good. We do have a toolbox. But I don't think I have a Lavender Hollow toolbox. Let me have a look. Um, I do have Happy Mail arriving before this that I might have one from Scribble Prince Co. I just checked and I don't have a Lavender Hollow toolbox coming in. So, and I probably will use that one. So let me bring out just a normal hollow one because I think they work just fine with the Lavender Hollow. You don't really notice it. I don't have the, um, I think I'm going to wait until I get, I am getting the simple line ones in the mail, like, next week. So I think that is what I'm going to bring in. Um, don't want any, like, more simple glitter header covers, just, just to, uh, break up all of that Lux pattern. So maybe just some micro confetti. I don't know if Screw Prince Ghost still does like the micro, but I think it's really pretty. Because you have like the chunky confetti, but there's just something about that micro. Like, you could barely see it. It's so beautiful, but it looks amazing on like, glitter headers. So, I think I'm going to bring this in just to break up that. Um, break up all of that Lux. And then I realized that I didn't bring in any extra silver um, sparkle bits to go with the Cat Cafe. So I'm going to grab those in a second. But I will grab some hollow ones for that spread. So a little touch of hollow, but I think that will be fine. So let's see what we want to bring in. Maybe we'll do some hearts and some Twinkle for the Cat Cafe. Um, just because I, I used to do this like last year where I added little deco foil bits to every single character sticker um, in the spread and I stopped doing it for a while and then I saw Andrea recently started doing it so I was like I'm gonna get back on that train <laughs> Um, and do that. So I'm probably going to also bring in the simple line hollow um, things from School Prince Co. So there's like a double box where it's just a simple line over the double box and then there's a simple line outline for the tall box. So I'm going to bring that in in hollow just to balance out more of this um, luxe pattern as well. So then we're going to bring a little hollow 
glitter head covers to do the same and some sparkles and then because um, I think the it's all just the Lux pattern in that and I think I'll just break up a little bit of the Lux pattern but I think hollow still goes well with lavender hollow it's not a huge difference and I feel like by ha always putting a little hollow with lavender hollow it kind of like brings both of them out in comparison to each other am I making sense anyway <laughs> I think that's what we're doing for this one, and I should probably put this in its little baggie. We might as well just put this all back in together. But I definitely wanted to bring this kit in while it was still cold. Because that's what the colors, um, I like the, the fluffy dressing gown and everything really brings to mind. That sort of cold weather. So. That is all the kits chosen for the month of March. We've got a Lucky Charm and we're going to use um, normal, um, maybe we should use Sparkly, no, we're just going to stick with Normal Hollow. Um, the, we're going to do candy and then bring in some stuff to level out the candy because I feel like most of this is like tre sweet treats. Then we're going to use Pet party for Heidi's seventh birthday, I believe. And um, I think that'll be really fun. And we're just gonna use a silver hollow with the Celebrate Bundle from Caress Press, as well as some bougie boxes from School Prince Hood, Caress Press, extra full boxes, the Sadie Stickers Birthday Girl Overlay, and the Sadie Stickers Confetti Cluster Deco. I think that'll be adorable. And then we'll keep the cat train going with Cat Cafe from School of Prince Hood. Oh, they're all, all the kids are this month. Um, with the Caress Precious Confetti Bundle, just nice and simple. And then we'll add in some hearts and little decos. And then um, if I need any extra full boxes, I'll just bring them in from my sticker album of leftovers, which um, if I've ever showed you guys specifically, I use this. No white space stickers, sticker album, and you can see I put my leftovers and any full boxes I have in here. So I have a little silver in here. So I might be able to pull in some, a couple of things just to fill in those extra boxes. Um, but nothing wild. I don't even have to do as much. I don't have to cover all the full boxes if I don't want to. It's more of a minimal spread for that one. And then we'll bring in the December 2021 mystery. This pretty glam self-care one with the Lavender Hollow Lux bundle with a little bit of um, a normal hollow from School of Prince Co. Just to take out a little bit of that Lux. So, yeah, that is Marge. And um, I hope you enjoyed this picking kits with me and looking through foil. Let me know if I'm going to be twinning any one of these weeks. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!